Commentaries from the Heart with Father Antony Agnes. Today is Monday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. First reading, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 1 to 10. Gospel reading, Matthew chapter 5, 38 to 42. Friends, we are back with Paul in his letter to the Corinthians. As we have explained in the week before, he wrote this letter to answer, to settle some disputes that were taking place in the church in Corinth. And one such issue was the fact that some critics, people who spoke a bit harsh about Paul and his legacy in the church of Corinth, uh, were trying to discredit him and his disciples that they had not been faithful to their mission. They are yesterday and they are no tomorrow. Today, Paul looks back at another aspect of his defense. He wants to tell them that, look, all my work, all my life has been to give an approval of what I preach. And so he gives examples of what had happened to him and his disciples, his friends. They have been imprisoned, they have been flogged, they have labored, they have been attacked by a mob, they have starved. And all these are proofs that they really had the will of God at hand, at heart. And he also mentions some of their qualities purity, knowledge, patience, kindness. And he says these are all proofs of the fact that when they are offering their apostolic ministry, their work as laborers of Christ, they did all this with good and true intentions. In the end, he invites the people, those listening, those reading his letter, to be men and women who who grow in their own love of Christ. Because at the favorable time, he says, God will listen to them. Friends, this is our calling. We need to continue doing the good we know to do. We continue to what is good before God, not before man. Today, as we go through the day, you have opportunities to preach Christ by what you do by what you say. It is your duty to give a good impression, a good image of who you are as Catholic. That is not all. Above all, your life, not just for today, but all the days of your life should be to give glory to God who lives in you. In the Gospel reading, Jesus gives something that is quite new at the time. He said, eye for eye, you heard, but today I tell you, no. When somebody wants to attack you, don't resist. And even turn your other cheek for him to slap, to hate. We see this in the life of Jesus himself. At the trial before he was crucified, they hit him, they struck him, they slapped him. His response was complete silence. No more eye for an eye. Eye for an eye is seen as a way to revenge, take revenge. No. For the Christian, you should always settle for what they call peace. Peace comes not from revenge, but from love. Indeed, it's difficult sometimes somebody might have done something so, so, so bad to you. So difficult that you can't let go. What do we do in such situations? Jesus tells us, yes, he has shown us the example. We should be examples to others. We should do more and show more love, more compassion. As you go through this day, look for opportunities to show the true face of Jesus to your friends, your colleagues, your family, to everyone. We pray that God will give us this grace 
to be like Christ in all who encounter us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for calling us as Christians. Your, dis- your teachings sometimes sound so, so strange and difficult to follow. But Lord, we trust that with your help, with your grace, we shall overcome. We shall be like you. Give us this grace, we pray. In your own name we pray. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ.